Hello everybody. My name is David and this is my wife Kinga and uh, we would like to show you something. Something incredible that will happen here. This is only the beginning and uh, and yeah, so come with us and we'll show you. So we just uh, bought this land which starts from here. Land, top of the mountain. And uh, and I would like to, I don't know how to tell you what we're gonna do here. And I'm thinking, you know, what, because it's gonna be a vast amount of things we will do here fast and so let's go and and explore this piece of land this is one of the entry here going down to the paradise of the fruit forest which this is olives here trees now and we're planning to put I don't know around 300 or maybe more avocados and you name it, all sorts of different trees. Tropical so we, fruits. Tropical fruits. So we can still going up, we can go down. And all these terraces, as you can see here, been recently made to accommodate all these uh, trees. And uh, as you walk, quite a lot but as you can see now we're coming to one of the views which is this lovely sea view but if we turn you've got these mountains and then you've got bigger mountains over there and they go all the way over there so this is this land is like three different plots. This one here we're walking on. Um, so it's quite tall. That's where it's gonna be all the trees. And main tree is gonna be what? <laughs> Mango. Mangoes. But we will have everything else. Look, look how much space is here for these trees. We also have got water. And... Uh, mangoes. What else is gonna be here? Avocado. We will have so many different variety of... Mango. Of mangoes. So you see it's going all the way up. Up, up, up. So if you go back, you can go to another. So you go back. We want to go all the way to the end. Let's go to the end and walk and see how far we can go. It's a little bit windy today. We don't have much time at the moment to wait for the quieter day. And uh, so yes, now we're reaching the end. This is the end. And you see. And all this tree you see there is uh, already almonds and further up is more of what? Olive trees. Olive trees, yes. And over there, there is a beautiful city. And uh, soon you will know what is the name of that city. And if you've got any questions about the place, about how to buy, where to look, how to look, you would love to answer all these questions, how much money you have to spend, and, uh, and much more, much more like gardening, gardening. Basically, we will grow here not only trees but vegetables and, uh, and tropical fruits. We 
because you, the climate here is perfect for it. Not everything, a few things we cannot have. We cannot have durian, we cannot have coconuts uh, and a few other things. But you'd be surprised what kind of tropical fruits we will grow here. For example, what? Papaya. Uh, papayas. Passion fruit. fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Uh, kaki. kaki. Bananas. Platanos. So it's gonna be a lot. A lot. Guava. Guava, guajaba. As they call Feijoa. it here. Feijoa. Uh, kiwi. Uh, kiwi. Kiwi. Also uh, the nuts. The fattest nut, the macadamia nuts. macadamia nuts, and you can grow any other nuts also. Look at this, that's gonna be what I'm gonna do here is basically you will be able to walk here like we do now, be able to sit down and admire the views, and you know, have some shadow from the trees. And imagine sitting down, eating the fruits, vegetables that will grow here because we, we love to eat, we love to cook. So that is another adventure we will do and we would like to share with you the food, the taste of fruits which are fresh, which are right. can, can, cannot be any fresher than eating from the land and ripe, col correctly ripe. See, there is another entry going down. This is look from the top. So this was one part here where all the trees is gonna be. And mostly fruits. We will have our own uh, we have water, but we will make also our uh, olive oil. Uh, everything is gonna be, I believe, organic, as we don't want to put any poison to our soil, to our trees, to our food. So we'll do everything to be as, as organic as possible. There is no chemicals that my neighbor can put down on me because we have no neighbors. Only neighbors, one neighbor is over there. And when we're gonna put trees, I'm gonna put some bigger trees, taller trees, which gonna cover him up so he don't have to look what I'm doing and I don't have to, you know, uh, spy on him. So he will have his own freedom. And so it's gonna be interesting the way we will do things here as I don't want to just put, you know, mangoes. I will put different variety of mangoes. I will put also different trees between for the shadow. And also we might have, uh, I start talking. So I'm first time doing this. So excuse, I don't know, my language, my accent. If you don't understand, sorry about that, but why I'm doing this? I want to share. I really would like, would love to share what we're gonna do here. And uh, trust me, you will find interesting. Whoever you are, where you are, what you do, what is your dreams, you will find something crazy interesting here. Like, like growing stuff, growing your own food. You're gonna do here mountain bike, mountain biking cycling uh, for everybody we will do cycling with electric bikes with normal bikes and uh, walking if you don't like cycling we do walking on these mountains I will find every single trail because that's what I'm good with I love nature I love explore and then the even biggest passion is to share that with you. I would love to share all that with you. 
and then imagine the food. See, I, I didn't mention that as we walking all this time, all this road, we all the time walking in our land. This is our private road on our land. And what I was saying, yes. So imagine, do some exercise. The level of the exercise will be with different groups, with different people. So like I said, you will be walking, cycling, yoga. Not only yoga, I will do all sorts of retreats. Any retreats you can imagine. We will have we will have uh, retreats that I don't even know exist. So whoever are in a master of anything they passionate about, you can contact us and uh, we will do some crazy stuff together. Uh, so let's yes, look at these views. Or they also can do nothing at all if they want. That's another beautiful, beautiful about it. You can do nothing, nothing apart from eating, taking the sunshine, and complete chill out. As there is nobody, there is nobody to watch you over the shoulder. There is nobody who is capable to see you. So really you can do relax now. This is the second part of this land where the main things will happen here. Uh, so here you see this like little bit rounded and we're gonna build, I don't know how to call it, but the funniest, I don't know, funniest, is it funny? or not but I like to call it a church church with no religion with religion of yours whatever you believe it's gonna be a place to be because we have we have here no specific religion basically we want to introduce complete freedom freedom happiness good food, good quality food. So we will build a rounded house, not a yurta, not a dome. It's gonna be called the Zom. You can Google up how Zoms can look like. It's gonna be designed. I already got design in my head, but we have to put that on paper. And then this building, it's gonna be where all the retreats inside can happen with rounded round building which is gonna be constructed probably from the wood natural stuff where you can really feel the energy the energy that you've got that you will discover from yourself and look at the view this is the view you will have and this is the view all the way around so if you like to see the sea you see the sea if you like to see the mountains that's the mountains and because we are on the peak of this little mountain you can excuse the wind i don't know if you can hear me properly but one of these days this is still the, like a middle floor, second floor, and then we've got one more floor. So this is gonna be here, the main place to meet up, to do the yoga, to do whatever you think possibly we can do here. And, uh, and then we will go level up where you could stay, where you will be able to stay in the future. Uh, and yes, it's only two of us who is who is doing all this. So there is nobody behind it. There is there is nobody who can stop us really to do this stuff. As you can see where we are, nobody will know what we will do here. 
apart from you apart from you so if you would like to join us anyway shape or form you're very welcome as I say on this channel we'll have a lot of tips informations that we will learn together of course I will do many mistakes and I would like you to get involved to help me to do as little mistakes as possible so we can create that paradise and we have even a name for this paradise El Mundo Silvestre El Mundo Silvestre which means wild world wild world so yes we want to keep it as wild as possible that's another view here's gonna be a spot like a balcony so you can have views for the sea and the mountains and trust me this is not I know today is windy and that's this is the second the third part we've got the water there and then we will build something for you to stay here zones as well just the small ones tiny ones tiny that I believe I'm hoping to accommodate at least four people in one zone and we will have I'm hoping five maybe six in the future of course that's not gonna happen immediately that's gonna be here entry down here we're gonna chop this a bit where where this leader house is gonna be she's very interested I, I've got so many stories also to tell you about this place things I went through uh, that is worth talking about and sharing uh, yes so we are now on the top right on the top so if you look down here we're gonna be slightly down making like a shelf here this is where all these houses gonna be little ones for you to stay and basically pretty much this is the view you will have from your little balcony as well to enjoy imagine that this is the water tank it's huge we have not only land but we have the rights for the water which the water comes from the mountains so it's untouched clean and treated and and yes imagine this place i if you're interested or not i'm doing that for myself also to document this place how it looks now and how it's gonna look very soon especially with 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 all these trees and when it's gonna grow up because another funny thing is like uh, you might think uh, it's gonna take like 40 years before things will grow here no what i've seen what i have experienced this everything grows here like crazy like three four times um, then i know we are both from poland and this stuff doesn't grow fast over there and here whatever you do this stuff just grows like uh, it's explode with things with a life so yes i'll i'll make a shot of this the wind is not too strong i'll make a shot from the trail so you can see as well from the top uh, of the size so you see of uh, there it's gonna be the main house which you'll be able to see but it's like three different levels like from here we cannot even see the part where the mangoes and other trees are gonna be so each level is like individual floor that nobody can be really bothered about stuff but anyway there is nobody you see we've got here further down there is somebody someone living there apart from that all that is just just mountains nothing else just mountains 
I'm behind it as well. And this is the peak of this mountain, just here, as the peak. So, yeah. Uh, you'll think it's like very windy always here. Now I've been here a few times before. There was no wind. This time of the year, I don't know if I mentioned that, I was gonna say before. This time of the year, we have rain, we have a wind, we have this, this, uh, uh, spring. spring. And that's what happened in spring. When you come here in uh, December, beautiful weather, perfect weather for bathing, for, basically it's not too hot and not too cold. Basically this climate here, we used to live three years uh, uh, in Spain, not too far away from here. And the climate was, trust me, so different than here. The climate here is uh, so much better, milder. Basically in the winter is warmer, in the summer is cooler. So it's, we never have like 40 degrees here. We have maybe 30, 32 max, you know, in the days, maybe 34. Um, Celsius, so it's not, it's not too hot. And yeah, so finally I can break this news of things that we are doing and we will keep doing this for quite a long time as this is our base this is our piece of land and we would love you to join us in this great adventure that nobody really know even me how it's gonna be we'll see the ups and downs and uh, i would like to share with you all this stuff is there anything else you want to say because i keep talking and what do you think? I don't know. You don't know. You said everything I know. Uh, please, you can help us to um, to share. To grow this channel. To grow this channel. You can like it, you can dislike it, you can share it. What else can you do? Subscribe. 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 So you don't miss this crazy stuff that's gonna happen here. Until the next time and uh, hopefully I can join as well the uh, drone video here as well. So yes, all best, excited, ciao.